So I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about me and my truck driving career. Not that it's been long, but I'm running out of things to talk about. Sort of. So I never stop talking. So, I thought I'd talk a little bit about my truck driving career. Been driving now for, I don't know, uh, working on five years now. Yeah, about five years. Five years in May. I got my CDL right at the end of April. Um, 2012, I quit working at Howard Miller. I ended up in the finishing room like seven and a half years there. And then my first truck driving job was at Holland Special Delivery. Um, I was very scared, I won't lie. Um, I kind of chickened out. I was going to be what they called truck load. And I kind of, you know, family guy that I am, I just, I couldn't do it. Um, you had the option of expedite or truck load. So I chose, um, first I chose truck, truck load and then after training for so long, for like a week, two weeks I trained, I went to um, to the main people and I said, hey, I wanna do Expedite instead, which um, I think either way, you know, I still did a good job. Uh, I had my rookie accidents, I did hit a yellow pole and busted up a rim and a tire and stuff like that, just, you know, being in a hurry, um, which I've learned now that there's no sense of being in a hurry because shit does happen. Uh, so I did that for, I don't know, May to about October, I believe. Yeah, it was about October, October 5, I think. I quit working at Holland Special. I went to work for a company called J-Max Transportation. I think now it's J-Max Logistics or something now, but um, I worked for Jarrell and Justin and them. Um, Another, I mean, it's not a great place to work at. Uh, I did a Gentech shuttle, uh, Gentech Corporation, um, the ones that do your rear view mirrors and your cars and good stuff like that. Um, I did a shuttle there, second shift. Um, I literally started out in a switcher truck. Um, yeah, it was a switcher truck, just like you see it, you know, at trailer yards. It was one of those. I'd drive from James Street down to their distribution center in Zealand. All day, about 10 hours a day, um, I had to unload my own truck. Um, it wasn't bad, Gentex people were great. I loved working there. I did that for nine months, I believe. Um, and then I got over here into um, Zip Express. Um, I really didn't want to leave J-Max. Um, just, you know, they promise you a lot of things. And, you know, I was trying to get on first shift and, you know, things happened. Uh, one of the things I think that Jarrell held over my head most of that time, which it was another stupid, you know, rookie mistake. Uh, I had a switcher truck, and when I say I was going to beat the train, like I wasn't trying to beat the train, there was just a, a scheduled train that went through town at a certain time, and I had to go get fuel in the truck. So I tried to beat the train, um, you know, Obviously, like I said, I wasn't trying to actually beat it, just get through, get over the tracks. And I forgot to crank up the landing, well, I cranked up the landing gear, but not all the way. And not thinking that, you know, it was last minute decision, oh, I'll just cut through here. And the railroad tracks sit up really high and I smashed up the landing gear and he kind of held it over my head. But, you know, that's another, you know, shit happens. You learn from your mistakes. So I don't really leave landing gear down like that no more. But, um... Uh, so then I came to Zip Express, um, totally different from what I've been doing since I started driving. Uh, we're LTL, I love it here. I love customer service, that's what we're all about. Um, July 8th, I have been here for four years. So it's been great. Um, every job has its ups and downs. I've always thought about, man, it would be, it'd be awesome to go back into a uh, back into a factory job but I'm not gonna lie I don't think I could do it I enjoy driving truck um, it's just I don't know I've heard like 
you know, I've heard people say like over the road, um, drivers, you know, you either got it or you don't. I don't know if I got it or not. I don't think I could be away from my family that long. Um, I know a lot of my friends that have done OTR, they have families, they've been divorced and married, you know, a couple, couple times and then they go to, you know, something local and they find out that they just can't cut it. I mean, granted, if your guy's out there doing 25, 3,200, 4,200 miles a week or whatever, I mean, you're bringing home some big bucks. I mean, that's just the bottom line, big bucks. You go into something local and I mean, just, just like that, I mean, you're, you're depending on how much you're getting paid an hour, it'd be, it'd be half of your paycheck. Um, but I do, I love what I do here. Um, I don't think I could ever see myself really being in the office. They offered me here at Zip a dispatch job. Ah, oh, man, I just thought about doing it. And I said, man, you know, I didn't really, I went to school um, to be a truck driver and to get my CDL and stuff. I mean, it's a lot of money, man. It's six grand it cost me. So, yeah. Um, probably some of you are wondering why I quit working at Howard Miller. I just wasn't making any money, man. Um, they asked one guy to do a two-person job sometimes. It was just too much. And after three years of three years of driving truck, I just couldn't, or three years of going without a raise, I just knew it was time to become a truck driver. But to sum it up, I enjoy what I do. I don't think I could ever quit being a truck driver. It's a lot of fun. A lot of assholes out here. But anyways, kind of a slow day here today. I got like two pickups and neither one of them are ready yet. So I'm just sitting here chilling. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you ever have any questions, leave comments, man. I'll respond or do a video on it. So have a nice day and be safe out there, guys.